Welcome, Aries Singles. I'm doing your singles reading here this week uh, for the, we're going to call it the first half of December uh, now, 2021. Um, this is your Meet the Soulmate uh, reading where I simply try to describe the person that's going to come in because I see he's being completely single right now and in this kind of open energy uh, where everything's a possibility. That's kind of what's cool about being single, you know. Um, but um, I use eight cards, and I look at what I call the core values. Now, I, I had a technical problem, but I have a hard time walking from a reading. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, in fact, it's, uh, I'm going to lose something going back. But because uh, this reading was, like, really exciting to me, and I was going places with it. Like, it's really uh, uh, amazing uh, what's going on with your person here. Um, so, <clears throat> here, I say with the uh, uh, Eight of Pentacles, let me show you, the Eight of Pentacles and the world, this is in what I call the emotional aspects, we're going to look at emotional, then intellectual, then love, and sexual, and then core values and lifestyle, four different pillars, right, of a relationship, really. You could say anything, relationship with yourself, even right. So, here I read the moon, um, and here I read childhood. And look, look in both of these, both of these, they're pregnant. Now, I don't know if this is a, a single child, very well may be, they may have other children, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if a single child. Um, they've got a Capricorn moon. So, uh, very strong Capricorn moon. So, in their natal charts, I like to read the astrology signs too. I'll pick up on most of the, uh, you know, we'll get the Sun and the Venus and Mars, okay? Uh, but so, it's probably going to be well placed. Maybe it's in an earth house. Maybe it's, uh, um, uh, has good aspects, you know, favorable aspects, harmonious aspects too. Uh, things that uh, keep it really grounded, right? Um, maybe it's trying to Saturn, you know? Um, but this would be someone, um, they're, don't get emotionally, uh, they don't get lost in their, okay, I'm a Cancer Moon, I get totally lost in my emotions. It's ridiculous, okay, it's a little bit how I can do this. It's ridiculous, but they are not gonna do that thing. They're not gonna do that, oh my God, I don't know what I'm feeling, and, and I'm lost, and like it probably if they were to do it, they would wait till it was an appropriate time, <laughs> right? But I think what I'm seeing with your person, I was saying, um, it's so heavy, you know. As an astrologer, I've worked a lot with psychics, energy workers, light workers, and, and in my 50s, even talking to somebody that's 22, 23, and the, the a knowledge they have. And like I ask them where'd you get it, and I can see in their chart what's going on, and they're just no, I just it, it's not because it's obviously they're not just taking it from you know the Bible or something. Um, they're it's just they're uh, born remembering um, past lives, remembering they just know. They're like I don't know how I know, I just know, but they know, and press the hell out of me, and I believe this couple they intended for this child. I mean, if you look at this couple, they're very much in love. They're very vulnerable and yet strong. Look how strong they are together and utterly vulnerable. Um, it's a beautiful eight, eight of Pentacles card here. And I would say this about this person, that they may tell you or if you kind of steer them or just ask them, his parents or her parents, either way, would say about this person, they, he, she is our world. Not my world, our world. And the parents are very most likely still together to this day if they're alive. And, you know, he, he or she grew up, and uh, this is very important, and it's kind of rare, uh, in a home where they, uh, their self-worth was acknowledged and supported and with parents here who were strong and independent and emotionally aware and intelligent who um, actually gave them a sense of self-worth of boundaries of uh, 
you know, a lot of things that many of us have to fight for our whole lives, frankly. Uh, let, let me talk for myself. Things we have to learn out of a book. So I want you to understand my feeling about this person here, Aries. Um, this is the story they might tell you about the parents. Yeah, they, they really, you know, they could have been practicing maybe tantric yoga, ta yoga techniques and um, in, in, in literally intending to bring like a master. Now, none of us are here right now in 2021. Shit's about to hit the fan. Fuck everybody. Just is. Ain't much we can do about it. Um, and, you know, but it ain't no mistake. There's no mistakes, really. There's no mistakes. <laughs> We're all here for a reason. But these people like this, I mean, they come in with this knowledge. So now, look, the Hierophant. Jesus, this is in the intellectual position. And also on the top, I do also see the intellect all the way above the conscious, as it were. And below, we see the unconscious. This is the deep unconscious. So, I mean... Um, uh, really what you're dealing with is a messiah complex but not in like a bad way I don't think this is your person this is not a trigger read this is not because I'm asking spirit who's the right one for you and I trust spirit so they're not going to give me someone that uh, triggers the fuck out of you it's not like that we're not asking for a twin flame um, to, uh, you know, roundabout here we're looking for the ones best here to line up with your soul's path and this Hierophant's coming under the Knight of Cups, or above the Knight of Cups. So, what an incredible combination in the intellect. Um, and we're looking at a Capricorn moon. Now here, typically I'm going to read the sun. So we're seeing a um, Taurus personality. And then I think what we have here probably is going to be a Cancer... Uh, um, Mercury is going to be in Cancer. So it would be probably a late degree of Taurus, early degree of Cancer. I, am, I believe you can have that. And there's an emotional element to them, too. Um, and my God, just grounded. And, I, and also the hair fonts, the master. It's, well, literally the Pope on Earth. Uh, uh, literally manifestation. Literally manifestation. This is heaven on Earth, uh, this energy. Um, in, in ruling and being strong, my God. And at the same time, if from a deep level, being very loving. I told you, it's not, it's not exactly a, a, you know, fucking psychologist, you know. It's, it's, it's not this uh, Messiah complex, you know. It's just they fucking are the Messiah. I mean, I'm sorry. It's fucking, but there's not just one. I mean, there's, I don't know how many millions of these star children that have been coming for years and years, and apparently it's getting stronger and stronger. I was telling my friend, sent a picture of babies one day old, just home from the hospital, just smiling and laughing and looking right at you, and looking you in the eyes and tracking people, and it's like, what the fuck is this? There's a lot of them coming in like that. Tell me there's something going on. Okay, and we're, and we're here, we're here, it's party time. <laughs> but this person, I'm gonna see what they're gonna do now, and then I'm gonna look at their love and their uh, sexual nature. And then their core values and lifestyle, I can tell you their core values probably um, be interesting. I think their lifestyle, they've got to be some kind of healer. But let's see. Here we're going to see the Venus sign. Hmm. Venus. Now, if they're a Taurus, they most definitely have a Venus in Pisces. Isn't that appropriate? Where Venus is exalted. Look at this. <clears throat> we look at the moon a little differently here. Major Kana, though indicating that the moon is very strong in them and the sun is very strong in them very well what does that tell me they're probably sextile in their nadir chart the moon here in capricorn is well aspected somehow by uh both house and in aspect okay i'm thinking particularly it could well be sextile or trying to saturn okay so then their venus here Look for a sextile to the moon. You're going to see this just get their information. There's a lot of places. Run it by me. I love these sinistry. Jesus Christ, we got the lovers, guys. Wow. Um, so you have the moon over the lovers. You know, this person is a lover. And um, with, I can't tell you how it's going to work out with them. When they're with you, um, they're going to be like a different person. 
and it's not like they're uncool, but there's a, an aspect of them that's very grounded and solid. They may have an orbit, an orbit. I really think people would want to orbit around this person. Um, and, um, but so they will have a way about them of just sort of, it's a, just a, it's really a dignity. There's, there's, I mean, I'm saying that I'm looking at that robe, you know, it's dignity bitches. <laughs> but there's a strength and dignity about them. the hair font is spiritual wisdom at its, you know, highest, uh, highest evolution. So, but when, when the doors close in the home, this represents also can represent the moon in the fourth house in the home, but same with Pisces, it's emotional energy. Um, and the lovers, that's Venus energy. So uh, very most likely gonna have their Mars and Taurus to go with the Hierophant because it is associated with Venus now, right? Um, Taurus could be associated too with just the earth, you know, the guy and mother came to be. That's the guy and mother, Taurus. That's the, where that energy is. Um, I don't know why. You know, I, someone, I should know this, I guess, but why do we not have the earth represented, you know, in, in the way the other plants are? I guess we are the, supposed to be the earth, huh? So. This would be someone um, in the way they love. Uh, it's going to be um, very, not the passionate, fiery type of love, um, but very soft and very emotional. And with the Taurus, Mars, um, very sensual. Um, so, and very grounded. I don't know if I can say this. It's like, uh, you're, you're Aries, okay? I'm sad, so. Um, what this can do to you, and a lot depends on where your Venus and Mars is, Aries, so, but, because um, you could have a lot of similarities, right, but um, typically with the fire energy, when this Mars here hits you, that's in Taurus, fixed Earth, it grounds you out, and like, meaning, like the lights go out, the power goes out, and you would think maybe that's a bad thing, but I'm Sagittarius, and I just gotta tell you, it was amazing. It is a really amazing experience. Uh, but uh, so you kind of think about that. <laughs> Take that for as you will. I do see also that this Knight of Cups is uh, looking right at the lovers here. Um, so, you know, they could also just have a Mercury and Pisces would work too. I kind of got more of the cancer with them because I want to, I think that they're a very caring person. It's kind of going to present themselves. I'm telling you, they got it going on. But they, they know, okay, look, let me just say it like this. Uh, probably from the time they were young, they were dealing with people from the other side, uh, souls coming to them at night, coming to them when they're awake. And they, they learn maybe from their fucking parents. This is amazing. Please comment. They might learn from their parents. These parents, to me, very involved uh, people here. You know, that's how they got this sense of self-worth and understanding of self-acceptance and confidence. So, and they were meant to do something with it. Um, they could be, uh, they could all just be a religious leader right now, spiritual leader, but let's look. Nine of Pentacles, this is in their core values and their lifestyle energy guides. Really beautiful Nine of Pentacles. Again, this is the Clipped Art Deck. So, I'm not surprised to see this. Now, what does the Nine of Pentacles tell me there? They don't work for a company. They work for themselves. Bing, 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 bing is very important. They are the company. They are whatever they do. Whatever they do is this. <laughs> I really assign a... Um, Assigned to that is earth energy Guys This is going to say a lot The three of cups energy now remember in this reading nobody's fooling around on you with the three of cups I don't really think that's what it normally means anyway. It is a love reading But this is their energy of their core values in their lifestyle and when I see, I think you have to look at these together. When you see the Nine of Pentacles over the Three of Cups, now it tells the story. Um, 
again, I told you in terms of like you, they're gonna, you know, Freud said there's two things: love and work. That's it. Make you know, focus on that. So this person's very much like that. So in their work, they have a little bit different persona, and I told you it's not like a bad thing. It's like they've had to learn how to detach their energy uh, from, because they're a natural empath. It's just a sponge. If they turn it on, everything could just come in. And they're Taurus. Why were they born Taurus? So, because they can learn to be strong and solid earth energy fixed. No, nobody's going to tell them they're not there. This is Taurus. It's your knuckles rapping on the table. It's reality. That's what I say. It's the real deal. It's reality, right? So now with this, this is them doing the same thing in their career. You know, they are very independent in their career. Um, and then now you have the Three of Cups. This also represents the home. What do they want in a home? How do they want? They want a warm home where you can allow in a, a, a select circle of friends. You know, they want that. And, um, that's the kind of energy. Remember, they have some Venus energy, so it always carries too with it Libra energy. So um, maybe at home they they would want a, a home that's warm and you know beautiful too. I mean, in Taurus, so count on that, man or woman. You know, if you go to their home, no matter if it's very small, humble little home, I don't, I don't think it is with this person. I I think with this person uh, over time they would become more and more substantial. And, and very independent, this person, you know. I tell you one thing with your person, they don't, uh, they're not, uh, they're not becoming to any entity. Uh, I like this. Your person here, Aries, um, they can say what the fuck they want to say. There ain't nobody going to tell them you can't say it. They're going to do what they want to do. There's nobody to tell them that they shouldn't do it. Um, but pretty much this person's solid. You know, you're going to, as you meet them, you get to know them. Let me know. This is coming up. This is the beginning, first half of December. Um, you know, you'll start to see these things. So whatever you see, you know, that's just how they're going to be. This person is not going to change down the road. So thank you, guys. And let me know what you uh, think of that. And um, give me a like, thumbs up, share it if you can. I appreciate any help. Do subscribe. Thank you.